Okay, good afternoon to the audience. My name is Astrid Pavlovsky. I'm from Buenos Aires, Argentina. I'm a hematologist with special interest in lymphomas. And I have been asked the question of, to comment the latest result of the aploidentical related hematopoietic stem cell transplantation in Hodgkin lymphoma. So we know that Hodgkin lymphoma is a curable disease. Most of the, our patients will have a long-term survival but 10 to 20% will not achieve complete remission after first-line therapy. And unfortunately, 20 or 30% of these patients will eventually relapse. Most often, these patients will receive a salvage chemotherapy and will be offered autologous stem cell transplantation, which can rescue about 50% of these patients. But unfortunately, there is a subgroup of bad prognosis that will eventually relapse. So, a allotransplant has potential benefit with graft versus lymphoma effect, and myeloablative allogenetic transplant has been uh, tried in these patients, but there was a high non uh, uh, relapse mortality. Reduced intensity condition is also an option for patients with relapsed or refractory Hodgkin lymphoma and has decreased this non relapse mortality. However, many patients don't have HLA-related or unrelated donors, so this becomes a second but very important problem. In the last years, HLA aploidentical transplants have been an option and have shown inferior survival due to increased graft failure or graft rejection. So to enable HLA aploidentical transplant after non myeloablative condition, different groups have incorporated high dose post transplant cyclophosphamine given early after bone marrow infusion, and this is in the purpose to kill alloreactive donor and host T cells, reducing the incidence of graft versus Hodgkin, graft versus host uh, disease, and graft rejection. And this has shown to not affect engraftment. So this is a new option we have for this group of patients. The publication by Borrow from the Fred Hutchinson Cancer Center is a retrospective analysis comparing outcome of heavily pretreated Hodgkin lymphoma who received reduced intensity condition with three different donor groups, the match-related donors, the unrelated donors, and the aploidentical donors. And we see that the two-year progression-free survival was higher for the aploidentical. Uh, this was maybe due to the increase in the intensity condition, maybe the HLA disparity helping the graft versus lymphoma event. There was no difference in the two-year overall survival. The non-relapse mortality was significantly lower for the HLA aploidentical related recipient and this might be due to the post-transplant post uh, cycle of phosphamine incorporation. So this is a good option for patients with um, heavily pretreated bad prognosis, Hodgkin lymphoma, and no donor availability. Recently, a diff another trial has been reported uh, from Dr. Raiola, the Genova uh, group. And it is also a retrospective analysis of 26 relapsed refractory Hodgkin lymphoma who received aploidentical transplant between 2009 and 2011. The median follow-up for the surviving patients is 24 months. The non-relapse mortality was extremely low, being 4% 4, 4 with a relapse of 31% and an overall survival at three years of 77%. So this shows a significantly low non-relapse mortality when using post transplant cyclophosphamide with compared relapse rates resulting in a superior overall survival. So for this group of patients who relapse after autologous transplantation, uh, this is still a big problem, but aploidentical transplantation can be considered an option.